Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you in the today's daily current affairs session on LTAP and today we are going to discuss the top PIB news from the month of January 2022. So before beginning the session, if you are new to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the courses and videos offered by us. And you can also join our Telegram channel to get the access to the PDF of the sessions. To join the Telegram channel, kindly click on the link given in the description below. So let's begin the session. Let's get started. And here you can see the very first practice question of the today's session, which is based on DGTR that stands for the Directorate General of Trade Remedies. So in this session, we will be discussing that what exactly this body is all about. See, this particular body was recently in the news. Now let's see that what exactly is the functioning of this particular body and why it was formed. Okay. So here you can see from the headline of the PIB itself that DGTR has recently issued 56 final findings since April 2021 in the anti-dumping countervailing duties safeguard investigations. See what exactly this anti-dumping is all about. Anti-dumping, it is one of the measure taken by the government to rectify the situation, to rectify the situation of a uh, dumping of imports in the country. And that's why against those dumped imports the government takes the action by imposing the anti-dumping duty on those particular imports and when we talk about the directorate general of trade remedies this particular body functions as an attached office of the department of commerce and this particular body was basically formed to protect the domestic manufacturers against the unfair trade practices which are being used by the foreign countries or the foreign exporters so when we talk about this DGTR, it was earlier known as the Directorate General of Anti-Dumping and Allied Duties, which was renamed in year 2018 as the Directorate General of Trade Remedies. And when we talk about this body, it is a quasi-judicial body which functions under the aegis of the Department of Commerce under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And it basically aims to create a level playing field for the Indian industry as it serves as a watchdog against the unfair trade practices. And what exactly these unfair trade practices are? These are basically related to the dumping and actionable subsidies from any exporting country which basically exports the products at a lower price against which the government of India takes the action of imposing the anti-dumping duties. And how, and how this particular decision of imposing these duties is being taken this is what we will be discussing in this particular session as we have already discussed that it protects the domestic industry from the surge in imports that harms the Indian industry. So what exactly is the process? See, when we talk about the process, what exactly is being done? The Indian domestic manufacturer which is being injured due to these unfair trade practices which are being used by the foreign entities it just files an uh, it just files an application to this DGTR and this DGTR has the responsibility of taking an elaborate investigation into the complaints which are being filed by these Indian domestic producers. Okay, after the filing of the application, the DGTR just invites the applications from all the stakeholders and who exactly these stakeholders are? These are the domestic industry, the foreign producers, exporters, importers and the users as well as their associations. Okay, after that, this particular body gathers the evidence from all these stakeholders against those which is being filed by the Indian domestic manufacturers and on the basis of that they conclude their recommendation that whether we must whether we should impose the duty against those imports or not and all these investigations are required to be concluded within a period of 12 months and this period is only extendable up to 18 months. So my dear learners that was all about this directorate general of the trade remedies. I hope that this is very much clear to all of you. Now when we talk about this question here you can see that DGTR has recently issued 56 final findings and what you are required to exactly answer in the question is in this particular question this question is demanding about the correct this question is demanding about the correct statement in relation with this directorate general of the trade remedies and here you are required to identify the correct statement among these three statements okay and when we talk about the very first statement, it says that it is a quasi-judicial body functioning under the ages of 
Ministry of Finance, Government of India. But as per our today's discussion, what exactly under which body it acts? It is basically working under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. That means the very first statement is incorrect. The second statement says that it aims to create a level playing field for the Indian industry. The third statement says that all these investigations which are being undertaken by the DGTR, they are required to be concluded within a period of 12 months, which is extendable up to 18 months. And those, the last two statements are correct. So the right answer will be option D, that is both statement two and three are correct. <coughs> Sorry. So that was the right answer to this question. And now let's move on to the next question of our today's session. So basically, recently the CSIR, that is the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research of India, has recently signed an MOU with the Institute Pasteur of which country towards the advancement in the human health. See, these two particular organizations from India and one of these particular countries have signed an MOU in order to work to uh, promote and to do the research towards the advancement in the human health and here you are required to just identify the name of the country from which this particular institute belongs to and the right answer to this question is option A that is France. So let's discuss this particular news once again. So here you can see from the headline of the PIV itself that in a boost to science and technology cooperation between India and France. CSIR and this particular institute from France have signed an MOU towards advancement in the human health. So here these two particular organizations have basically signed an MOU and this MOU is going to provide for developing the potential scientific and technological cooperation and they are going to work and improve the networking and advanced and emerging areas of the human health. So that was all from this particular news article. I hope that this is very much clear. Basically here you are just required to remember the aim that why exactly this particular MOU was being signed and what exactly are the two parties between which this particular MOU has been signed. So that was all from this particular question. Now let's move on to the next question. And the next question is about the National Voters Day. Okay, sorry, it is just uh, overlapping here. So here you can see that Vice President Sri M. Venkaya Naidu has recently applauded the Election Commission of India's effort to enhance the voter turnout on the occasion of National Voters Day. And this is why this particular day is being celebrated, that is to enhance the voter turnout in the elections. And here in this question, you are required to tell me that on which day the National Voters Day is being celebrated in India whether it is 25th January or 24th, 23rd, 22nd or 21st. So that is here what you are required to identify in this particular question. And the right answer to this question is option A, that is 25th January. So when we talk about this National Voters Day, see this year India has celebrated the 12th National Voters Day and this day is being celebrated to mark the foundation day of the Election Commission of India. And now when we talk about the other important part that you are required to remember from here is, see, first of all, that it marks the uh, foundation day of the Election Commission of India. Okay. And apart from that, what exactly is the date? That is 25th of January. Now the second important point is, what exactly is the theme of the National Voters Day for year 2022? And it is making elections inclusive, accessible and participative. So this is basically the theme of this particular National Voters Day 2022. So that was all from this particular question. And now when we talk about the googly question for the today's session, then it is basically based on the consumer protection direct selling rules 2021. So what you are required to do, you are just required to identify the correct statement in relation with these particular rules and answer the question in the comment section below. Now when we talk about the homework question from the today's session and here you are just required to identify the name of one of the portals. See this particular portal was being launched by the National Bee Board for the traceability of honey and other beehive products with bee pollen, bee wax, bee venom, propolis etc. So here you are just required to identify the name of the portal whether it is B Rakshak portal, Honey Bee portal, EB portal or Madhu Kranti portal. So do answer the homework question in the comment section below. So my dear learners, that was all from the today's session. I really believe that today's session was useful and fruitful to all of you. And if you have liked the session, please give a thumbs up in the comment section below. And if you are having any queries, 
then kindly drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in and you can also call us at 814-620-7241. So thank you for joining us. Wish you all happy learning.